Hey Scorps, welcome back to the channel. Peace, love, light, and healing energy. This is Sasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot 888. Hope you guys are doing amazing. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening to all of you. All right, so we're going to get into this channel message reading, everyone. So, of course, take what resonates with you, leave the rest. If you're new, welcome to the channel. I would love to have you. Definitely subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. Make sure that you're taking a look, everyone. In the description box of the video, for any information you would like to know about myself, the channel, all of my links to my websites, personal readings as well, email, cash app, PayPal, all of that is there in my description, okay? Make sure that you also have your notification bell on, so that's where you'll know when I post readings to the channel as well as go live, okay? All right, happy Friday. This is the first Friday of May, so today is what, May 3rd, 2024? The first Friday... All right, so let's get into it. Spirit, angels, guys, divine ancestors, I welcome you into this reading for the star sign of Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements. Please protect my energy as I open this spiritual portal and channel message reading. Let no weapon form against me shall prosper. Please return any dark forces, evil eye, witchcraft, dark witchcraft, that's not of my highest good. Monitor spirits, karmics away from the channel, my home, my sacred space. Return the energy back to sender tenfold. So more to be. Amen, amen, and amen. Also want to acknowledge my divine ancestors of love and light that came before me, my ascended masters. Also want to welcome in Archangel Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Serio, Archangel Christine, Mary, and so forth. All of our also other divine archangels of the universe, of course, first and foremost, my spirit team and the Holy Spirit. All right. What do we have for Scorpio? All right. All right, so let's stop here. Let's see what we have. Oh, Lord, here we go. Here we go. So we have this energy again. My baby mother or baby father is jealous of you. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so someone's child's mother or child's father is jealous of you, Scorpio. Wow. Hmm. All right, so let's pull some more on this to see what this is about, everyone, okay? All right, so we got someone that is jealous of you. Why? I have no idea. So let's see. All right, so I'm going to pull an oracle on this. So spirit angels and guys, tell me about this energetic message from Scorpio's person stating that a child's mother or a child's father is jealous of them. What is it that Scorpio needs to know about this? Oh, boy. All right, tell me more. Tell me more about this. My baby mother, baby father is jealous of you. Why is that here? Okay, so we have travel. Hmm. Give me one more. Hold on. Tell me more about this. Something is at a distance here. I'm not sure what it could be. Hmm. This person could feel some type of way about you because maybe you're able to travel the world or hmm, maybe do a little bit more than they can. I'm not sure, guys. So I'm going to check it out. All right. So, and this card actually flipped over, but I put it back. So, we have the ain't shit card. Oh, Lord Jesus. Ain't shit. Hmm. Okay, so, oh, chat, oh, Lord, drama starter and talking shit. Okay. Oh, Lord, here we go. So, whoever this baby father, baby mother is, this is someone who's a drama starter. They like talking shit about you because they're jealous of you. Girl, it's too early. <laughs> it's too early. So, we got ain't shit. So, this person who's jealous of you, they talking shit because they ain't shit. And, <laughs> and on top of that, they're a drama starter. 
What? Oh, look at their shine at the bottom of the deck. Your light irritates their demons. And then we have romantic love affair and into you. So they're feeling some type of way because of how your person feels towards you. But then there's a romantic love affair. This talks about secret lovers, secret fix, sex fix. Girl, what? You know what? I can't. This someone who's talking shit about you, Scorpio? But I'm a little thrown off by this travel card here. Let's see. Let's let's get the tea. Let's get the vibes. Let's see what this is. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Already. Already, Scorpio. <laughs> okay, so let's put this over here. Child, why? Okay, so tell me about travel. Why is what is the travel energy? Tell me about travel. Hmm. Maybe this person, this child's mother or child's father is at a distance. Hmm. <laughs> Alrighty, child. Tell me more, spirit. What is travel when it comes to this? Got the nine of wands give me one more for travel thank you <laughs> oh the number 99 you're doing your thing out here some of you guys you may travel for work with the nine of pentacles you may be an independent you know contractor owner of a business or something Whatever it is, your pentacles are steady stacking. You're a pre-empress energy. Oh, you get into the bag. Seven of wands and the three of cups. Huh. Maybe this person tried to, this baby mother, baby father may have tried to be friendly with you or tried to maybe offer you to go out to get to know each other, but maybe you blocked them out or... Mm hmm. Or maybe you came off a little defensive. Yeah, I feel like someone tried to extend you an offer to hang out or something. Something about talking, communicating. Like I don't know, this person may have tried to get to know you. Oh, boy. <sighs> yeah, some of you guys may be business owners or... Whatever you do for work, it's something to do with traveling. You have your own independence. You maybe don't have any children or something. Mm. But there's nine of wands. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm, I'm getting like an energy of like this person is going through a lot of obstacles and challenges in their life. Or they could be afraid of travel, but, you know, you're already in that position. Mm -hmm. But I'll break it down for you guys, okay? <laughs> what the hell? Tell me about ain't shit, spirit. I hate to say that, but that's what showed up. <laughs> My baby mother, baby father is jealous of you when it, when it comes to ain't-ish. I, mean, I want to be a little respectful for my elders that watch me. <laughs> I try to be. All right. Tell me about ain't ish. Why is that here? Why is that here, sir? I don't know. You may intimidate this person or something. Thank you. Girl, what? So, Ten of Cups. Tell me more, spirit. Thank you. The Two of Cups. Hmm. The Page of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups here. 
someone here involved is like a cancer pisces maybe a virgo or capricorn hmm. This, yeah, this person is jealous of the fact that you have the relationship with this person. That you guys have a bond, a family. You guys are in love. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, it's like this person feels some type of way because, oh, look at there, king to the queen of pentacles. This person feels some type of way because you guys could be married or something. You may have a child together for some of you. And this person could be just getting on their feet or maybe they're just starting over in life, maybe going back to school. Or well, they don't really have much to offer your person. Yes, yeah, like they feel some type of way because you're getting your happiness. You know, you guys are maybe business, something about business or you guys could be married. Or it's just in a long-term commitment. Girl, what? Hmm. <laughs> okay. It's almost like someone wants with the lifestyle that you have or something. Girl, this is crazy. What is the nine of wands spirit? So like I said, the number 99 is here. And of course, <laughs> of course, everyone take what resonates with you, leave what doesn't. This is not going to resonate with everyone. Okay. All right. What is this nine of wands when it comes to travel? Why is that here? What's the nine of wands when it comes to travel? Okay. So six of swords in the reverse. Tell me about the nine of pentacles when it comes to travel. Oh. Thank you. Hmm. So king of wands. Aries energy. The devil in the reverse. The shrimp. Hmm. Capricorn Leo. You just not with that toxic shit. You, you're just not with it. You rather refrain yourself and hold yourself back. You're, you are exuding excellence in so many ways. You're coming off very divine, feminine, divine, masculine. You got your shit together. Your resilience, self control. I feel like a lot of you guys really hold back your tongue. Sometimes you do want to say things, but you rather just, you know, just cut them off. Hmm. Child. You're like a leader. I don't know if you're in a job where you're like a boss or a leader or you're doing something that helps others. But you may have Aries in your chart, Scorpio, or somewhere Virgo in your chart. For my ladies, you may be in like an alpha type of energy where you're like a very much of a visionary. You're a person that goes after what you want. And I feel like this person feels feels some type of way about that because I'm hearing scary. Someone here is like a very, <laughs> like a very scary person. They're like a very stuck and stagnant individual very guarded someone could be afraid of maybe traveling across the water or something maybe like a you know boat plane train whatever it is but whoever this individual is this is someone who feels broken damaged and it's like they're not able to possibly move on from your person Hmm. Wow. 
I feel like your person had to cut ties with this baby mom and probably just keep it about the kids because they were toxic. So they kind of like standing on business and just making it very clear. Yeah, with the King of Swords and the Page of Cups, this is like I'm making it very clear when it comes to, I don't know, maybe child support or visitations or whatever it is. Like, listen, it's all about the child. That's it. That's all. You know, I don't want anything toxic. You know, I'm standing on business, what I said. There's times I have to hold my tongue, but I got to let you know what it is, you know. All right. So tell me about the Ten of Cups when it comes to ain't-ish. And my BMBD is jealous of you. Maybe some of you guys already know this or you didn't know, you know. Wow. Um, all right, so what's the Ten of Cups when it comes to ain't-ish? Hmm. I'm seeing a lot of blue here. So someone is definitely speaking their truth using their throat chakra. We got the Knight of Swords. Tell me about the Two of Cups when it comes to ain't-ish. Someone is angry for some reason. I'm getting angry. Yeah, see, with this Knight of Swords, this is like someone who's always starting trouble. Whoever this person is can be like an, um, an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. All because they're not able to move on. They're feeling broken and damaged or whatever they got going on. Almost like they're trying to sabotage the relationship that you have with this person. Because it's almost like because you guys are happy and in love and things are working now, they're trying to destroy it because they feel some type of way. All right, so Page of Wands. Sagittarius energy. Hmm. Some type of communication action being taken. Yeah, it seemed like this person has something to say with this Knight of Swords and Page of Wands. It's like they're trying to express something here. But I feel like there's like with the Page of Wands, this is also like good news that's happening for you guys' relationship. So 10, 10 here. So there's like happy days and you guys have a, you have built a stable foundation. You know, again, some of you guys could have gotten married. You know, maybe you bought a house together, a car. Maybe you have a business together. Whatever it is, it's definitely a divine empire. You're building generational wealth. Good things are happening. But it seems like someone is trying to sabotage that all because their life is not together. Things are moving slow for them. Mm. But I'm, I'm telling you, I feel like it's a masculine here that's like, listen, or female, it's all about the child. And that's it and that's all, you know? I'm standing on business when it comes to my life, my personal life. I'm not here for the toxicity. I've already, yeah, someone is, took, whoever this is, your person or you, someone here is giving me the energy. I took back my power and I'm standing on business on that. I'm, I'm not entertaining it, you know. I have left. I've started a new chapter in my life, Aries energy. So I'm getting someone here as an Aries. You or, or have, you know, Aries in your chart. But this father, it's a father figure here. It's like, listen, I'm free. You know, I've started a new life for myself. Hmm. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> All right, guys. So this is what I have. So I'm getting your person, maybe an Aries masculine. And whoever this is could definitely have air signs in their chart. Scorpio, you may have Virgo. All right, guys, so this is the reading. Thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.